415, you're still smoking up here in Santa Maria. Who was that who said I was smoking where? Yeah, Motormouth Mall said you're smoking in Santa Maria, California. Oh, hell, yeah. you know, that, 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 uh, that coming from you, Motormouth Mall, means a lot to me. Let me tell you, that means a lot. Motormouth Mall used to blow smoke out here around San Diego, and for, I'll tell you what, it's uh, it's interesting to hear these kind of conditions. We don't usually get to get to uh, talk to San Diego and and all that, so it's uh, it's kind of cool they're breaking up. I'm, I'm getting a kick out of it. Yeah. Very rarely they allow wicked conditions, especially like that. Um, yeah, it's very rare. That's why. Enjoy it as long as we got it out here, that's for sure. We'll definitely keep on enjoying this Mother Nature. I ain't gonna complain about it. <laughs> I might get in the mobile in a little bit here and have some more fun in the mobile because I don't know. Because uh, usually you gotta struggle real hard in the mobile. Maybe I have a better chance to break. 2020. One more time. 2020s up in there. He's north of me. He's up in Paso Robles, Sibri. Hello, around the west side. 302 looking west. Wait, wait. 2020. Who are you uh, talking to? All right, there, 415. We'll get you back in a bit. I'm going to go mosey on over to the mobile. I think I'll mosey on over to the mobile for a bit and uh, fire it down. We'll get you back in a bit there. 415, radio station, Motormouth Mall. I'll be in the mud, but you might hear me. I'm San Diego back to the side. Hey, motor valve, ball, 302, break, break. Yo, 302, what's going on? All right, that's what I'm waiting for. I want to make it sound real, real good down here in New Mexico. Any time, do you? Motor valve, ball, ball, they call me 302, I see. Mm -hmm. Roger that, 302. Good to hear you've been there. You're smoking. Sounded real good. Keep on with it, keep it on. I'm going to jump in the mobile. Maybe you'll hear me. I'll be, uh... I'll be right back at the break. Oh, I don't have a problem hearing you. <laughs> you got my 200 Cobra lead over the, over the strawberry pet, no doubt about it. Motor Mouth Mall, 302, I see it. 10 4, yeah, but I'm in the base. And I'm cheating. And I got a 96 foot long antenna on the flat side, so let me see what happens when I go to the Wiki Squeaky Mobile. I got a, a 10K Predator antenna on the mobile, so um, we'll give that a shot and see what happens. I'll be back. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 415, what do you think? What do you think about it? About me looking at you. No, he said that. Uh, and I just turned around to see if I can put my feet, my feelers on it. <laughs> Yeah, he's sure. Right, 302 to Mexico, you got a copy on the boss. Right, 2020. Hey, I can tell you, because I'm looking right at it. All right, well, here's the, uh, here's the mobile. <laughs> we'll see how that does. We're out here in the mobile and uh, cruising down this little dirt road and see if we can't get our name called in the world of sound. Radio station Motormouth Mall Mobile, step in. How about it? 415 San Diego or 302? You got a copy out there? Motormouth Mall Mobile, Santa Maria, California. Get on down. I see you later. Hey, 415, I did hear you. Let me turn pointed towards San Diego a little bit here, break. I can fork up to you. We'll talk to you later, man. We'll have some rare big guys. Quiet. A uh, four four one five radio station Motor Mouth Mall Mobile. A four one five Motor Mouth Mall Mobile right here right now. Four one five Motor Mouth Mall Mobile trying to sneak in there if I can get in and fit in from time to time. Motor Mouth Mall Mobile stepping. Every one seven three Mobile out there to it and. 
Radio station Motormouth Mallmobile, waving right back. Hey, 173, you say you're next to Carlsbad? Hey, uh, 173, you say you're near Carlsbad down there in San Diego, the break? Hey, 422, you're smoking too. Hey, 422, you got a hammer down. Uh, it's rarely we get these kind of conditions. It sure is good to hear you up in here. What's going on there, 422? You mess around here, 422, and I'm in trouble. But I ain't got time. I got to shoot and run. Bump it down and get out of here. No doubt about it. Hold that ball, 302, I see. Let's get the channel roll on. 422. San Diego, Cal. Roger, the 422 San Diego, Cal. Take care. Good to hear you up in there, man. It's uh, definitely a pleasure with a double measure and rare conditions out here. So we're going to enjoy a little bit of this Mother Nature for a spell. 422, I've got a water gate rolling over there at the base. It's only about uh, not even a quarter mile away from me right now. I've got a, a water gate rolling on the, uh, on the beam. So hopefully uh, you and I are both up on this water gate. The 422 radio station motor mount mall looking around San Diego. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I ain't got the water gate going right now. I'm going to go inside here, Doug, and put the feet back on. I'm going to mount now. Okay, I heard old Showtime out there and a few other companies out there looking at it down there and coming in bone busters. So I'm going to be calling you. You sound real good coming out here. Like me and Rosie Trump is going to have to send them. Watching the T1 Bye. Bye, bye, bye. 422. Right, Zero. You say you and President Pepper watching the border there. Ain't no doubt about it, man. Well, uh, <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, hey, you also said there was some, uh, some activity out there around, uh, I believe it's a showdown out there around Hawaii. Uh, they might be doing some yapping and talking. I don't hear them yet. All I hear is you. A uh, 422. All I hear is a whole radio full of you in my truck. Ain't no doubt about that. 422, take care. Have a good day. 2019 wave to you. Appreciate the bump down in the world of sound. Radio station Motor Mountain Mall, your west coast. Under modulated beast in this mobile. Walk on through. Chevrolet. Mm -hmm. You one seven three down the road, Carlsbad. You have a good day too out there on Motor Mouth Mall Mobile, waving and stepping. I got down. Hi, Joe. Yeah, not bad for a, what is it, a three hundred mile trip? That's some short skip, man. You know, I wish I had a. I've been working real hard to try to get the doggone takeoff angle on this mobile as low as possible, and now I kind of wish I had a higher takeoff angle. Oh well. You can't always get what you want. <laughs> I got that. Yeah. Well, you know what Blondie said. We're going to get you, get you, get you. One way or the other. That's right. We're going to drop a big old ball. I got down. Destination unknown, East Texas. Sounding real good there, Mr. Motor Mouth Mall. Sounding real good there, Mr. Motor Mouth Mall. Mr. Zero, wave it a hand. Break a break a break. Mr. One Zero, wave it a hand right back at you, sir. Man, you're smoking loud in my mobile, I guarantee. Tell you, what's going on? Breaker, breaker. I hear some other high fidelity audio up in there. Who was that who said good evening? That, that almost sounded like uh, KP68 or somebody there from uh, Pennsylvania. Motor Mouth Mall, you're clear for takeout. <laughs> Motor Mouth Mall, you're clear for takeout. Clear for takeoff. I'm at the uh, I'm at the doggone far end of the strip, man. I got plenty of room ahead of me, so I suppose I'll just uh, uh, hang here and wait for my uh, in line uh, uh, what you call turn here, and maybe I'll just cruise up over there and fly around your neck of the woods for a bit of break. Now 
Uh, we got a crash going on here, man. We got the highs and the lows just crashing over these snow caps, so I don't know if I want to rain or snow and the skip's great. I'm surprised I'm making it up around the snow caps, up around the, you know, the Rockies, man. I'm uh, pointed down to San Diego. Let me turn this mobile around a little bit and look the other way. Man, I can't keep up with Mother Nature today. She's just dipping and dabbing and flipping and flopping and bucking, weaving and shucking and jiving. She's all over the place, there, Breaker. Yeah, but she's mainly over there in Texas, Mississippi, moving into Ohio. You know, there's a bunch of more kind of conditions. Over there on the Snowcap Rock, Butcher Boy down here in LA. Butcher Boy, Barefoot, Mobile, LA, got down. Hey, Butcher Boy around the uh, Los Angeles area, the greater Los Angeles area. Hey, Butcher Boy, I, I tell you what, this is a weird skip. You're only 154 miles away from me as I crow flies. Hey, Butcher Boy, radio station Motormouth Mall, work in this mobile. Got down right there, breaker, breaker. Uh, how you doing there, Motor Mouth Paul? Put your boy down here in 1012 in L.A. We're trying to put it back into here. Barefoot Mobile, got that Good news to Mr. Anna. Well, you're doing a heck of a job. I'll tell you what, from Barefoot Mobile from Los Angeles to Santa Maria, California, ain't too doggone shabby, man. Yeah, I'm a good day out here myself, and we didn't expect all this wonderful Mother Nature. I, uh, I thought, well, it'd be nice to get a little bit of skip out there, and I heard a little bit of East Coast earlier, and I thought, well, that's about normal, you know, and then things shortened up a little bit. I was like, wow, that's rare. So I'm actually having a little bit of fun out here in this uh, wonderful world of sound there, Bray. I hear what you're saying there, Motor Mouth Ball. I heard you loud and loud. You said it, and I heard you. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the weather. And I'm going to head to the folks from back north tomorrow afternoon. We're going to be uh, loaded down here in L.A. Oh, well, Good around. Roger. Hey, Butcher Boy. Hey, take care. Seven threes to you. And uh, have a good day out there. And somebody else out there said, yeah, that's Motor Mouth Mall. But it's Motor Mouth Mall in Mud Duck Mode. It's Motor Mouth Mall in the Mobile right here, right now. I got down. Damn, yeah, you're making the trip down here around Riverside. One of the first times I've been able to get back with you. Anyway, Motormouth Mall, you got 138. They call me Motormouth Mall. Hey, 138, four stroke? Yeah, you're sounding good over here, man. You're smoking around Santa Maria, California. I'm uh, about a quarter mile away from my, my, uh, my station, my barn, my ranch, uh, and I've got a water gate rolling, so hopefully this water gate's going to pick everything up real good. I'm pretty sure I left it on Channel 6. I hope I did. <laughs> hey, 138, Motor Mouth Mall, working this mobile, looking around Riverside. Tell zero, uh, tell zero zero one, the whole uh, senior citizen. I said hello there, break. Yeah, well, dude, he's up on 28. But yeah, I hope you give me the water game. All right, there. Take care of Fort Stroke. You have a good day. Don't work too hard. And good to hear you out here in this rare short skip. Motor Mouth Mall Mobile waving right there, right now. Sorry, we're going to get a visit. Mr. Motor Mouth Mall. You're smoking from Long Beach, California. I had no idea. That's too doggone cool, man. Hey, uh, you're doing a good job from Long Beach. Butcher Boy. Now, you're not the same Butcher Boy from up north, are you? Yes, I am. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, I'll be dead. Huh? You're normally up there around, uh, yeah, up around the doggone uh, uh, Columbia River, and now you're down there in Los Angeles, California, and you're smoking. Butcher Boy, good to hear you out there, man. How are things going? How's life treating you the break? Uh, Joe Butcher Boy. Real good there, Motor Mouth Ball. Real good. No complaints on this end. Life has been real good. God has been blessed with plenty of loads. We sit here using this slight long hurricane fence as an antenna. Butcher Boy getting right back into your receiver there. Motor Mouth Ball, your friend Butcher down here in L.A. Right now. 
not sure. You go down and find us. Oh, man. You know, I'm, I'm uh, running a brand new Predator 10K antenna. And you know, the funny thing about the Predator 10K antenna was uh, when I got my first Predator 10K antenna is when I met you up there in the northwest corner. As a matter of fact, uh, when I was up there, uh, brain damage set me up with the, uh, the, the brass uh, antenna mount. Doc Adams set me up with a uh, piece of Teflon and uh, some metal backing plate. And uh, I bought a Predator 10K antenna. Now that, that was up when I uh, the first time I met you up there up north, and uh, I, w I went through that Predator uh, 10K antenna, and then I just ordered another one and got it in the mail and put it on the truck about three days ago, four days ago, something like that. And uh, here I am talking on this brand new Predator 10K, and then here you are again. So something about Predator 10Ks and talking to Butcher Boy. I'll be dug on. Let me uh, key this magnet mount, Wilson 2000 up here, as we're backed up against this slide hole fence down here. I'm actually in Riverside now, Paris, Paris, let me rephrase that. I'm sitting in our uh, yard down here that we bring trailers in and out. I backed up against this slide hole fence right here, motor mount ball, and that is what I'm using for an antenna there. 410, what's your boy in the mobile? Right back to you. I'll tell you what, that thing's reflecting all that RF right up around my neck of the woods. It's working really good for you. You're smoking. You're the strongest thing in my radio right now. And uh, sounding really, really good. Super clean, super clear, the butcher boy. So that uh, that antenna system there, 2000 you got there, and that, uh, uh, that, that fence line you got there is working. Ain't no doubt about that. They're great. Well, we're going to do it one more time, and then i got to get my... I gotta get back to the old selfie mine here. They're looking at me like I'm freaking crazy in this office. Here, so I'm probably tearing up their computers. I don't know. But this little unit down here, it's uh, it does about four watts, swings 28 watts, and that's all I got to put out there. Four ten. Right, sure. Well, it's working. Now, out of curiosity, what's my signal strength on that radio there, Greg? Take a look at that meter. One one one. You are just about a quarter of an inch into the strawberry patch. I'm going to say about a ten. Hey, motor mouth ball, it's about a ten coming your way there. Four ten. Uh, sure, I'm too shabby. We're working a little six six seven, a one driving four uh, in the mobile. I think it's got a pair of Toshibas and a pair of H H H D I S or H I D S or D I H S or H I D whatever. It's got the it's got two of one and two of the other, and then a Toshiba driver to break. <laughs> I got a four pill laying underneath the bed of my big truck and a sixteen pill laying underneath the bed of my truck and the wires go nowhere. Hey, a uh, motor mouth ball, can you believe that? The wires don't even get out of the cardboard box there. Four ten. Well, that's one way to make them last a long time. <laughs> hey, 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 butcher boy, that's one way to make those doggone things last a while. They break. Yeah, four ten. Well, that four pill, I got to put a new pill in it, and I just have never got around to it. And haven't found one yet. I don't know, it's just been, uh, I've been kind of out of the hobby, if you know what I mean. But anyway, welcome to the ball again, Butcher Boy. Roger there, Butcher Boy. Well, good to hear you. Good to put the speaker spoke on you out there. And uh, uh, if you uh, live down in L.A. now, or are you, uh, you just pulling down there? You, you're working or visiting or whatever? You're actually uh, going back up north, or what's the deal? Yeah, 410. I have uh, all these campers all over the United States and Canada. I take them from factories to dealers there. Campers, boats, cargo trailers, stuff like that. Four All right, sure, very cool. Awesome. Well, if you find your way through, cruising up the 101, I know usually if you're going north and south, you're probably taking the five, but if you ever find your way up the 101, you ought to swing by Santa Maria and look me up there and say hello, break. I'll do that. Uh, I was up there a month or so ago, and uh, I couldn't remember the name of the little town, but I got it now. I'm going. I didn't get that. He got a lot of bleed over from Channel 6 rolling up in here now. Uh, 6 from uh, Channel 7, I believe, uh, rolling up in here from uh, Mexico. So uh, uh, your wall ain't high enough to break. 410. Well, I'm going to park this and get the hell out and get, get on to my next project. And uh, tomorrow afternoon, I'm leaving for Idaho Falls. Headed over to Idaho Falls. Roger, I'm headed for Idaho Falls tomorrow afternoon. All right, good deal. Well, you mobile safely out there, Butcher Boy. Good to hear you up in there. A pleasure with the double measure. Uh, when you get up north in the Columbia River area there, and up around Washougal, I'll tell Doc Adams I said hello to break. Have a good day.
You do the same. Yeah, Mexico's getting strong. I'm going to get back to the base, I guess, to shut this thing off. But it was sure good to hear everybody out there around Riverside and San Diego and all the rest, Los Angeles and everywhere in between, Carlsbad and the whole nine yards on radio station Motor Mouth Mall working this mobile. Stepping. Don't step too hard. It's a long drop out of the Yeah, whatever he thought. Prepare. Yeah, I guess this kid hadn't gone anywhere yet. I just needed somebody to come in there and clean this thing up. No, I don't stick out of here too doggone quick anymore these days. I don't want to twist the foot to break. Yeah, well, anyway, check, check. I don't know. It's about as clean as I can get your, uh, you know, standby. Stand them by. You're clear for takeoff, on the bottom of Clear for takeoff. Yo no habla español aquí, solamente inglés en los Estados Unidos, por favor, gracias. Radio station Motor Mouth Mall, your West Coast beast in the mobile. Stepping. Ain't nobody I got me a bottle of G.J. Swan. They motor mouth mouth. I got me a bottle of G.J. Swan. But uh, Joe Pancho, I'm done. <laughs> Roger. You're sounding good, man. I appreciate it. Likewise, you're doing a good job up here, man. This is this is really rare stuff. It's uh. I don't know how many times in the course of a couple of years you get the chance to hear something anywhere from 100 to 200 and 300 miles away that break. Hey, you're such a modest man, Motor Mouth Mall. You cut that out. Hey, Motor Mouth Mall, Butcher Boy, still got anything? Right there, right there, right there, right there. Weasel, look out. Oh, big old weasel. I heard that, I think. And uh, uh, what was that, Butcher Boy? I said, do I still got any kind of conditions that I unloaded this trailer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're still 3S units. Oh, yeah. What's your boy needs to do? Let's get that walkie-talkie. He's got a, like, a a center load antenna, I think, on a truck there, and he was backed up near a fence, using the fence as a reflector, shooting his RF up here. And it was working pretty good. And he unloaded a trailer, and he's still looking pretty good. So, I don't know, maybe the fence... Fence may or may not have done something there, Break. All I know, he's got a big old hammer up here, there, Break. I'm just sitting in a chair. up there, up north, please. You go ahead. He's down south. I'm up north. <laughs> well, because of where you are, I suppose. I'm in Santa Maria. Busher Boy is down there in Los Angeles, well, Riverside, there, Break. Oh, I don't know. I agree. He's got weasel over here. We're out here in Fontana. On the other side of Hill Riverside. Anyway, it sounded real good out there. Waving a hand, I didn't think we had any conditions. Oh, uh, Weasel, we got some bizarre conditions out here right now. I guarantee tell you, man, this is a trip and a half. Yeah, I used to live over there in the uh, Los Angeles area. I used to live up there in the Santa Monica Mountains. And uh, I don't know, you probably remember, if you were back on the radio back in the late 89, 90, 88, in that range anyway. Uh, maybe even before that, obviously, but. Uh, at least when I got into radio, there was a Malibu Chuck lived up in the uh, Saddle Peak area. And anyway, you may have heard Mal Malibu Chuck way back when I wasn't too far away from him as a crow flies in the uh, Santa Monica Mountains. So, yeah, and I remember the well, the area well. I just uh, i am glad I'm out of there, Break. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I grew up in a little town. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, up there where you know, like, rim of the world. Flatliner. Checking out this little radio around Southern Cal. My little tower's got no power. 440 deserts. Wait, wait, who's out there in the Mojave Desert there, break? Somebody with some big audio. Who was that there, break? Believe it. What's going on, Motor Mouse? 
Water Mountain Mall, sounding good in the Mojave Desert today. 440, 440, high huh, deserts. Man, 440, you are smoking. Most, most bodacious audio I've heard in my mobile all day. A440, Motor Mountain Mall waving right there right now. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. You know you got to save those flowers for yourself. Oh, you know that around here. Hey, Motor Mouth, welcome to the weekend. 440, 30 miles north of Palm Springs, right around Joshua Tree. Man, I'm glad I got the water gear rolling at the shop. I almost better go check it to make sure it's going, but about a quarter mile away from here, I got my, uh, I got the beam uh, hooked up to the receiver, the receiver being the, uh, the, the um, Cobra 29LX with the two caps modified in it, the uh, C33 and C40 changed over to one microfarads. And I've got that being recorded onto my little phone, so I sure as heck hope that recording is going. Because I'll tell you what, your audio is something else. Unbelievable, that rate. Well, I do appreciate it, man. I got a room full of you, too. It's just conditions, man. You know it's not my setup. It's just conditions. But hey, man, uh, keep doing what you're doing for the uh, hobby, man. Keep moving it along, taking us to new, new places, new heights. Hey, Motor Mount Mall, I don't want to jam up the frequency. But take care out there and enjoy your weekend. 440 Southern Cal High Desert. Sound back quiet. 10 4 oh, doing a heck of a job, man. You were smoking. I, I was going to turn the truck around and see if I could peek you out any better, but you're already in here like seven or eight S units, and you're blowing my my cab out here with uh, tons of gobs of good audio. <laughs> I got to ask you, by the way, and you're welcome, by the way, and I keep sharing whatever I can share and hope that I can, you know, pull in any interest I can pull into the hobby and try to get people to kind of sort of lean the direction of wideband big audio, because I tell you what, you know, if they heard a station like yours, you'd think they'd be just chomping at the bit to figure out how to do it, you know? So I, I do what I can to help. Yeah, by the way, what are you running for audio processing? Uh, FL Studio. FL Studio on the computer, and we're using the USB Behringer uh, QX1002 to get it over to the radio on the drip direct injection. Roger. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I use the Behringer, too, in my truck here as well as at the base. I use the little Behringer Euphoria, the little one. You know, it just has a single mic and instrument input on it, and it works real good. And it, it uh, interfaces the, uh, the audio nicely uh, from the computer to the radio and microphone and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I, I do that. It's cheap, you know, 29 bucks. And then the computer is just uh, one of those little, uh, one of those little uh, fanless, uh, uh, down the size of two packs of cigarettes, I guess, is, is what most people can relate to. And, and it's, uh, you know, just a small little 5-volt, 3-amp uh, uh, supply that runs it. So I run that in the truck as well as the base. And then Live Professor for the audio rack, and then of course all those VST plugins that you can get for free from VSTFromFree.com. They're free. Oh, we'll copy, copy that. Yeah, I was about to ask you. Uh, just kind of yeah, I was gonna ask you what audio software you're using. It definitely sounds a lot more studio like, a lot more, uh, you know, fully broadbanded, I guess, than than the sound that I've heard in my headphones that I'm trying to create there come out. Uh, jury, yep, yep, the old life professor. It doesn't really make any difference which, uh, which particular, uh, um, you know, whether it's Pro Tools or Live Professor or Studio One or FL Studio or any of the others. It, they all do the same thing. It's those VST plugins, you know, and, and I get those for free off of VSTforfree.com. And uh, just equalizer, compressor, limiter, a couple of EQs. There's a pre and post EQ. And then there's um, some even harmonic distortion going on in here too, the break. And then I'm feeding the, uh, I'm feeding the Behringer uh, um, uh, Euphoria box right into the mic input with a, <clears throat> uh, are you sitting down? A stock unmodified handheld D104 Miniband to the break. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I use quite a different, quite a different, uh, pretty much dial it into, you know, whatever you want, but, uh, it's always nice having a good condenser mic there, come on. Oh, yeah, and yeah I, I prefer the condenser mic at the base, and matter of fact, you know, I used to use a, a, a dynamic mic, I used to use the RE20, mainly because I have access to a bunch of them, and I've got like four or five of them, and, and all my clients use them, of course, all the FM and AM and broadcast stations around here are all using them, and, and so I thought, well, heck, I'll just use that, you know, that's the industry standard around here, and, and so I... Uh, 
I thought that was a hot ticket for a while. And then I thought one of these days, I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these little things from Wish.com for 30 bucks, $34 or whatever it was. And it came with a boom and a shock mount and uh, the whole nine yards. And uh, I hooked it up thinking it was going to sound okay. And I had no idea that this condenser mic for $34 was going to outperform the RE20 for what we do here on this, on this kind of stuff. And uh, so now, no more RE20s. I use $30 condenser mics. And man, they just kick butt. They're breaking. Oh, an AKA GP220. So it's a little bit pricier. And, I, you know, like you said, you. Some of the cheaper stuff sounds better for just this this frequency and this band. You know, you put it against the computer audio and you listen to some you know good headphones or something like that. Of course, the, the more expensive mics are going to take take it there. But just broadcasting on this frequency, this band, I mean, we can only do so much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I find that the uh, El Tipo microphones just work good and and uh, real partial to them. So in between the the mic and then of course the audio processing, you get uh, <laughs> you get to tailor things differently and mess around with a little bit, and kind of sort of color it however you want. And uh, you're doing direct injection. This is the modulator. So the only real difference is that I have I can create whatever percentage of modulation I want. In at any power level, whereas with direct injection, you're kind of limited to 100%, and and uh, there's nothing wrong with that by any means. Uh, but yeah, the bandwidth is just beautiful, and, and like I said, I'm re I'm listening to you on the uh, Cobra. I'm recording you at the base on the Cobra 29LX with the modified C33 and C40 being swapped over to one uh, microfarads, uh, non-polarized non electrolytics, and then. Um, uh, in the mobile, the same thing, uh, same modification, and uh, I've never heard audio like like yours in my mobile. I'm not, I'm very few of my locals. I've got a couple of them that run modulators, but uh, no real high fidelity activity around town here, except for one or two stations. And uh, so it's real. It's really a pleasure to get to hear a, a wide band high fidelity signal in this mobile. We'll get back off the road, Davis. We'll get back off the road, Davis. Call that track around New Mexico. We'll get back on Terrell Davis. We'll get back on Worldwide. Terrell Davis. Worldwide. Tell that Jake in Mexico got down. In there. I could, I just, uh, with your signal, and I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to get in there that time, so I was wondering, man, uh, you know, I can't tell the difference between your uh, your your base station and your, your, your mobile now, you know, if conditions are right. And I guess that would be the only thing if you were on some crazy power and doing them side by side, but damn, they sound great, dude. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to drive over here. I'm halfway there. I'm going to drive over to the station, and I'm going to jump out of the mobile. You can probably hear my seatbelt thing dinging away here. Um... By the way, all this audio in the mobile, and if I get away from the microphone, you lose me. I mean, it's not that much of the uh, the audio is being uh, controlled anyway. Okay, let me let me jump with the bass real fast. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'll do that. Worldwide, Cat like Jack Brown, New Mexico. Worldwide, worldwide, Jack. Worldwide, Cat like worldwide, Cat like Jack Brown. These three fat girls, New Mexico, want a man. The cause. Hey, appreciate the combo. Been lost. 440, bottom side of Cali. I'm back quiet. Roger, they're 440. Well, I'm at the base now. <clears throat> now we're uh, we're doing a little bit different. And yes, the Watergate has been rolling. I got 33 minutes and 22 seconds of Watergate over here. And we're on the base right now. One of those little $33 microphones. And um, instead of running a 667, this is a 3CX 20,000. Correct. Yeah, I can definitely tell the difference, man. But um, you know, if if you if you hadn't told me, I wouldn't know. But yeah, you got more power and uh, a stronger carrier now, and a little bit more room quieting with. Right back, 121, 121. Roger. Yeah, it's just uh, just a little bit of the same on steroids, and that's pretty much it. But. Uh, well, I had you on there. I wanted to jump over and switch over and let you hear the two of them side by side and all that kind of good stuff. And now I'm going to hop back into mobile again, and I'll be uh, be back into mobile mode. Hey, good talking to you there. Appreciate the conversation. A440 doing a great job out there. Absolutely phenomenal sound. Motor Mouth Mall waving and stepping. And when I get home tonight, I'll be posting this. Uh, video gate up on Facebook to bring me. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll drop you. A, I'll drop you a message. I know um, 
the names and the and the call signs and the numbers don't always uh, line up there with Facebook. So um, do appreciate it, man. And uh, we'll be. Hey, one twenty one. I got it all. One twenty one. Hey, one twenty one. You said I sound in both dishes out there around Los Angeles. I heard what you said. Take care. One twenty one. Twenty nineteen. See you weekend, Wayne. Peace. Hey, what I'll do here? Let me play this back for you real fast. So I'm here. <clears throat> I'm not going to stop the gate. I just got the other gate rolling. I got two computers. I got the, the, well, I've got one computer doing the Watergate that I use for playbacks, and then I got the other being the phone that I use for the actual Watergate that gets posted, but here's the playback that I got. Hello, Yeah, I can definitely tell the difference, man. But, um, you know, if, if, you, if you hadn't told me, I wouldn't know. But, yeah, you got more power and uh, a stronger carrier now and a little bit more room quieting with the... Right back, 120, 121. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, there you go. That was uh, that's what I'm hearing out here, Motormouth Mall, your West Coast undermodulated beast. Back to the mobile I'll break and breaker. And that's all real. Hello, Motormouth Mall. Mobile sounding good. Comes around the bottom side of the great shaggy. Motormouth Mall, I'm getting up. Oh, wait, man, I'm not in the mobile now. I'm at the base now, pointed east of all things. But uh, let me go switch to the mobile, and then you'll hear the mobile to break. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to the mobile so I can this mall. Going to the mobile so I can grab this mall while you're out there on you. Well, can you say good evening to the one eight double zero? Well, will you say good evening to the one <laughs> Did you say get on and go to the mobile so you can drop the ball on me? <laughs> I believe you said, well, go on and get out to the mobile so you can drop the mall on me. That's what you said. Motor mouth mall working this mobile right here, right now. We're driving away from the station here back in 10 8 mode in the mobile I got down. Breaker, breaker. <laughs> Oh, one eight double zero. Both of them are asking for talk. Unless you can't come here on the badlands, get down. It's the end of 2019. Wait, are you most Mr. One zero five, bottom side over here is Korea. 105, I'll tell you what, that is one bodacious sounding station as well, man. Appreciate the bump down in the world of sound, and appreciate this rare skip we get to have here, man. We gotta, I gotta go get Mother Nature some coffee or something, or I gotta buy her something nice. Maybe, I don't know what to buy Mother Nature, but uh, I got to get her something uh, for us to uh, have this kind of wonderful conditions out here. 105, while you smoke it out here, Motor Bob Mall, we're going to wake you squeaky mobile right here, right now. Hey, Wrecking Ball, look what right you got. Here he is. Here he is. Here I come. Hey, Wrecking Ball, Cadillac, 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 Cadillac. Yeah. See you on a break this year. Mr. 105, the man with the twin Al Capones just got there. And for him, twin Al Capones, too. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you one of the breaks down there on Long Beach or uh, uh, thereabouts. Or before too long, I'm not sure exactly when. It's going to be after I get the house done. But I'm going to hopefully have another break up around this neck of the woods again, too. So if and when that happens, I'll certainly let you know. And maybe you can cruise on up around these neck of the woods. 105. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Good to hear you. Always a pleasure with the double measure. Motor Mouth Mall working a squeaky, squeaky mobile right here. Right now, I got down. Hey, Cadillac Jack, I hear you out there, I do, but I'll tell you, it's rough and tough. Hey, Cadillac Jack, if you got any kind of a sloppy copy radio station, Motor Mouth Mall, wave it. Well, I still want you to tell that boy with you. Hey, see him do Hey, hey. That's what I said, hey, wrecking ball. Real spoke tires. No, I have to do myself. Real spoke wheels with Vogue tires. Hey, 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 hey wrecking ball. I got the Vogue tires and the real true spokes. I'm skinning, grinning, styling and profiling in my 1964 wrecking ball. Come here. Who are we talking to on that end? Oh, one ain't double zero five here, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm about the end of 1964 Cadillac. Can't believe you, but none of these trucks stuck in there. They probably disintegrate by now. I got ball ties, ball ties. I got them Cadillac ball ties. Hey, wreck them. Roger on the 8 track disintegrating. I think it was like an orange color. I have ball ties. I can't find it on that Cadillac. 
something on that couldn't couldn't quite work. Can't make it in on the wall, bro. They can't make it in. But you just kick that back door down for fun on my on this dirt shirt in here, man. Show how. Make them save the process too. Soft sway time. Soft sway time. Everybody can ball. A white. One zero five. I'm gonna get back to the base. Shut this uh, mobile down. I'll get it back on the base station. One zero five. Radio station Motor Mouth Mall. Your West Coast Beast in the mobile. Step it out. See ya. Back. So sway. White top. Bye bye bye. Hey, Showtime. I know we don't have the best of mother nature, man, but I did hear you in the one way, man. I'm gonna wait till things get just a little bit straighter. Oh, well, once again, it's your time. 2019, we'll you see your Mr. 105 cruising this old no-talking base. Back back. 959, have I always have talk. Hey, Wrecking Ball, you got up, I got on down. 2019, 2019, once again, we can wave us. We're okay. I'm going to have a chance to make a mud duck like me. Hey, Wrecking Ball, man. 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 One zero five Arkansas, one oh five, Grandpa Jones and Cal try and break break. Hey Grandpa Jones, one zero five is in Los Angeles, they're breaking. Oh, I got the wrong one oh five. Hey wrecking ball. Hey wrecking ball, Daddy told me Daddy told me back in the fifties, if you couldn't dance and you couldn't sing, you couldn't get no camping girl. <laughs> Hey, Rick and Ball, look here. Daddy told me in the 50s, if you can dance and you can sing, you can't get no girl. So I got my eight track. Hey, Rick and Ball, I got my eight track. Don't shut it in, man. You ain't, you ain't used to nothing like that on that cap, man. You got to, you got to get to know your radio. Right, now, 1800 right now is right back. Quick. Bye, Rick and Ball. Bye, Wrecking Ball. Bye, Wrecking Ball. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing, Wrecking Ball. Bye, bye, bye. Here's a Wrecking Ball that day. I just want to know, is Wrecking Ball that day at Mr. 105? 105. I was thinking the same thing. I was wondering if Wrecking Ball was that bad they're bringing. Hey, I'm going to go around that way. Well, you're doing a real good job. You're doing a real good job on that camera. You're off to a good start. But nevertheless, you take care of the week out. I'm going to take the old lady wave on this cap, man. And my condolences go back to the family. Mr. Worldwide, Pioneer. Dollars is most hate. Buy 105, 2019, see you. Buy 105, 2019, see you. Cadillac, Cadillac, New Mexico, weekend bump up. Hey, Cadillac Jack. Hey, Cadillac Jack around New Mexico. Well, let me ease up in there one more time. Cadillac Jack, motor mouth mall, stepping right there. Right now, breaker, breaker. You in the mobile now. Go on back to the mobile. Go on back to the mobile. Motor mouth mall, bye bye. 10 4. 10 4. No, I ain't in the mobile. I thought I'd get up in here and. Give my name call once or twice to break. Yeah, I know. I didn't tell you, I'm looking at the signal. I was the one said, when you got there in that mobile, I was going to kill you. That was me said that the first time. Jack's work. I heard that I did. Oh, we can. Mr. Worldwide, Pioneer. Oh, one eight. Crazy mother nature. Crazy mother nature. Yeah, I got to say, this is, this is some of the weirdest skip we've had in... Seven or eight years, sir, Brie. No doubt, bro. Uh huh. I knew it. I knew it, man. It's real weird. And what's really cool is I got to get it on Watergate, sir, Brie. Do you want to stay in the background? <laughs> yep. It's good when you got it on Watergate. That's for sure. What's really cool is it's it's happening on 27025. I mean, I don't know what else is going on anywhere else. But this is all taking place right here on the bowl to break. So I want to know. I'm going to ask you something. Do you know Zigzag? Do you know Zigzag? $100.
Yeah, 421 zigzag. Yeah, is he still talking? Is he okay there, Mike? I believe about a month ago I heard somebody calling him and talk to him. I didn't hear him, but I think uh, I think I heard somebody talking to him. So I think he's okay. But I haven't heard him out here nearly as often as I have in the past. I'm not sure what's going on there, Brie. Okay, yeah, so it's I used to catch him a lot down on, um, down on 26.915. Go ahead. Ah, uh, Roger. You know, I've always been meaning to put frequencies in this radio, and I never have. I'd like to get down there. Because there's a whole different, uh, whole different slew of folks down there, you know. It's a, a kind of a neat place, and I love the AM, and and uh, so it'd be, it'd be kind of nice to uh, get down there. But I've never put twenty uh, twenty six nine one five in this radio that big. Yeah, folks, and why? Because I, I I go down to uh, to eight thirty five, and shoot, sometimes I, I go down around twenty six three hundred. But like you say, you can talk, you can talk just your radio, get a whole lot of skip. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and I like AM. I don't like sideband, you know, so I don't usually go up. Usually the uh, the sideband folks are up there above Channel 40, and the AM folks stay down there below one. I like AM. I do both. Hey, look here. I go up on, uh, on the triple, uh, on triple five, 27, triple five in a minute and go international there, Fote. Uh, you're, you're ambidextrous. You do both the race. Yeah. When I don't get one, I get the other place. And now, hey, look, I just, not, hey, and any time, look around, I give me some more 40 meters that way. Oh, 10 for on that. Yeah, one of these days, I'm going to put some antennas up for 40 and 80 and 160. That's what I want to do. But, um, man, I tell you what, I've got so many irons in the fire that I haven't, uh, haven't had time to play with that stuff to break. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Well, I saw you lies of mine, man. I sure do send some here, because sometimes I did around here. I mean, get absolutely did. Sure, I got about 40 meters, man, sure. And, and I, I was sitting there every day more than I was. I was still camping. He was in, in uh, Georgia. He was talking to a camping in Ireland and Greenland, right? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what a trip. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole different world up there. there. I should say down there, Brig. Hey, and, and I'm sitting in a good spot for Europe. I'm sitting in a good spot looking east. Um, well, dead east. Well, well, I, I, well, well dead east, I'm good, but, but if I go uh, a little bit, I guess I would say uh, east by northeast, man, all of Europe is just right there in front of me. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yep, absolutely. Yep, very cool stuff, that's for sure. It's a whole different world, and, um, yeah, when there's stuff happening there, you know, there's, uh, I should say, when there's nothing happening here, there's almost always something happening there. Yep, all the time. All the time. Pretty cool stuff. All right, hey, Cadillac, let me jump back on the side here. Read the mail first, Scotia bit. I'm going to stop this gate. I've got 48 minutes. I'm going to stop it right at 48, right there.